Little Nature Club. Hello, Little Explorers. Welcome to the Little Nature Club, where we explore, learn and play. What shall we discover in nature today? Oh, look, it's the letter H. H makes the H sound. Can you try that with me? Now let's write the letter H together. Down we go from top to base. Across the middle to join the space. Start from the top and all the way down. Come halfway and curve all the way round. H. H for hibernation. But what is hibernation? Let's find out. The air is feeling chilly today. The garden is quiet, the sky is grey and the frost is making everything sparkle. But where have all the animals gone? Some animals travel far away to find warmer weather and that's called migration. Others grow thick fur, feathers or a layer of fat to help keep them warm. But some animals do something very special. They go into hibernation, a long deep rest that helps them survive the cold winter months. So why do animals hibernate? Because in winter it's cold and food is very hard to find. During spring and summer there are plenty of yummy things to eat, berries, bugs and green leaves. But when the days grow shorter and the weather gets cold, it's harder to find food and water. So before winter comes, animals have to get ready. They eat lots of food to store extra fat and that fat keeps them warm and gives them energy while they sleep and rest. Here are some of the animals that hibernate. We have a bear, a hedgehog, a frog and a bat. Let's help our animal friends get ready for hibernation. Can you choose the right food for each one? This frog loves to eat snails, earthworms, flies, slugs and spiders. But which one? is the odd one out. Can you remember? Ah, that's right. Grass is the odd one out. Frogs don't eat grass. This hedgehog likes to eat beetles, earthworms, snails, slugs and caterpillars. But look at this picture. Which one is the odd one out? Well done, little explorers. Hedgehogs don't eat cheese. This bat likes to eat flies, mosquitoes, moths, crickets and beetles. But which one is the odd one out? Can you tell me? That's right, little explorers. This bat doesn't eat slugs. Oh, and here's a bear. This bear likes fish, honey, apples, berries and acorns. But can you tell me from this picture, which one is the odd one out? That's right, little explorers. Bears don't like to eat cake. Well done, little explorers. Now our animals have full tummies and it's time to find them a safe, quiet home to rest. So let's play a guessing game. I'm going to give you a clue and see if you can guess the animal and its winter home. Are you ready? I have prickles. I curl into a ball. I sleep under leaves when the snow starts to fall. Who am I? 
It's a hedgehog! Hedgehogs hibernate under piles of leaves, twigs or even in compost heaps and garden sheds. Here's clue number two. I jump and splash when the weather is hot, but in winter I like a muddy spot. Who am I? It's a frog! During winter, frogs love to hibernate in the mud at the bottom of ponds. Here's clue number three. I hang upside down, silent and still, dreaming of flying when spring warms up the hill. Who am I? It's a bat! Bats hibernate in caves, roofs and even hollow trees. During hibernation, they can breathe as slowly as five times a minute. Isn't that amazing? And here's our last clue. Clue number four. I'm big and furry. I love my den. I sleep through the winter and wake up again. Who am I? It's a bear. Bears love to hibernate in cosy dens through the coldest months of the year. Well done little explorers, you did an amazing job. During hibernation, an animal's body slows right down. Their heart beats slowly and their breathing becomes gentle and their body stays cool to save energy. Some animals hibernate for weeks and others for months. And they're not asleep all of the time. They might wake up now and again for a little snack or a sip of water. When the sunshine returns and the flowers bloom in spring, the animals will come out from hibernation to explore once again. All this talk about snuggly winter beds has given me a fun idea. Why don't we make our own hibernating animal? Let's get crafty, little explorers. Let's make a hibernating hedgehog. Are you ready? To make your hibernating hedgehog, you will need some paint, some glue. I'm using PVA, but you could actually use some glue dots. A fork, some colored card. I'm using orange because it's autumn. Some leaves. Alternatively, you can use paper ones, a pencil, a paintbrush, and a black pen. First of all, I'm going to draw a picture of my hedgehog. I'm going to do the outline of its body. Once I'm ready with my picture, I'm going to go all the way around again with my black marker pen. Now you could use brown paint, but since I don't have any brown paint, I'm going to mix my own colours. Do you know which colours I need to use? I'm going to start by mixing red and yellow to make orange. Blue and yellow also make green. And if you put green and orange together, it makes brown. If I want to make it a little bit darker, I'll just add a little bit more blue. Now that I'm happy with my colour, I'm going to use my fork and I'm going to pop it onto my card. The fork will make it look like the hedgehog spikes. Once we have plenty of spikes on our hedgehog, it's time to let the paint dry. Now that the paint's dry, I've added lots of glue onto the card. And I'm going to place my leaves underneath to make a nice cosy bed for the hedgehog.
And there you have it, our hibernating hedgehog, looking all cosy in its bed of leaves. And there we have it, our cosy hedgehog fast asleep in the leaves. Why not have a go yourself and make your very own hibernating hedgehog? Today we discovered H for hibernation, how animals rest through winter and wake again in spring. We met hedgehog, frog, bat and bear and we even made our own snuggly hedgehog craft. Little explorers, what a lovely day it's been. Learning about nature and all that we've seen. Can you think of anything in nature that begins with the letter H? Maybe a horse. Or maybe a hippo. If you've had fun today, come and join the Little Nature Club once more for another adventure full of wonder, learning and so much more. Goodbye.